This is the big science day. This is gonna be a long day. Tom has had a, a wonderful idea, and we are a uh, breakfast diner. <laughs> What's it called? Yeah. Now, uh, which is literally everything I hoped it would be. But we're going to have a classic American breakfast. What are you going to have? Probably the waffles. Waffles, and I'm going to go for the pancakes because I'm a walking stereotype, basically. <laughs> Right, breakfast over. We're now going to put our posters up. Now, the poster hall is in fact so massive that it's going to take us several weeks to reach where our posters are meant to be. Oh, I'm right underneath the atmospheric <laughs> science sign. <laughs> One of them. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, what we need to do now is... So Tom, talk me through your poster. What is this? We are very keen, I should point out by the way, we're in a very bare aisle. So, yeah, so... Yeah, the posters were supposed to be up by eight, it's now eight, so they're on in our posters today. We are law-abiders. So this is a new way to measure stratospheric tropospheric uplink in observations and IPCC models. In layman's terms, that like for YouTube, what does that mean? Well, it means looking at what the air above Tor Columbus does, the circulations up there, and how that affects the surface, and how climate models, such as those used in the IPCC report, the Science of Government on Climate Change, um, how they represent this, this particular effect that we have seen in reanalysis data. Great stuff! And then this is my bad boy, which you've already seen. But yeah, it's really cool to actually see it sort of up in a poster hall. That's your real research. <laughs> so we're now about to go off to the post, uh, the orals for the session, this, this poster session is about. So the same kind of science, but people talking about it. Um, which, conveniently enough, is about as far away as it's possible to be while still being at this conference. So whilst we've been on the very long walk here, we've been able to go past lots and lots of different sessions and it's worth pointing out that the diversity of science here is incredible. So we just went past climate change solutions, forest ecology, new fellows lectures, into interests on the decadal climate variability, remote sensing of the cryosphere, and this is all happening in five days across the entire campus of like buildings uh, from eight until five or six. It's just a mind-boggling amount of science. <laughs> oh, here's our room. A few moments later. The session I was just in turned out to not be terribly relevant because whilst it's the session that my post is in, that particular oral session was all about the chemistry side of um, stratosphere troposphere stuff, which isn't what I do and it isn't, uh, doesn't have techniques which are applicable. So, I'm now going to go over and see if I can get a headshot done at the um, professional place and try and piece together my program yet again. It's alright, you can appear if you want. <laughs> All hail the almighty Google, our benevolent overlord. So it turns out I might be waiting for a while for a headshot. You can put them on Facebook, you tell them. I've just had my makeup done now, that's beautiful. I'm going to take a job. Yeah. Dropping my flags. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, I'm now going to be late to the next session and I smell of hairspray, but I do now have a free, like, high quality portrait. Boom. Hit shot. This camera, I'm really sorry that it's so bad at focusing on me. I doesn't seem to know that I'm the star of the show. One of the things that I love about this conference is, um, the sheer variety of people you end up talking to. So I just had a nice chat with a girl in front of me in line um, who worked in numerical modelling of thermal hydrodynamic systems um, who <laughs> very much put the uh, joyzy in New Jersey. Uh, lovely girl, nice chatting to you if you're watching this. Now, got to rush over to the other side of the uh, centre, catch up on the talks which hopefully are going to be a bit more relevant. Ascend from the southern edge to the northern edge, if you integrate this, you can see where the circumpolar vortex has its largest variability. 
Finally, some relevant talks. Kind of. They were more relevant than previous talks anyway. But more importantly, they were actually good talks. I haven't been terribly impressed by the overall quality of talks I've seen so far. Not to say that talks here generally are bad, but I just... The ones that I've seen I haven't been terribly impressed by, but there was a really, really good talk or two in that session. Now, however... I'm going to go and watch David's talk. He's giving a talk downstairs. And um, I'm going to go and throw rotten fruit and heckle. And so, some of the questions we want to know about love flow, when you're going to be deciding at grades of up to 20 centimetres a year initially. Now you've done it. How did it, how did it feel for you? But it was good. It was the most engaging talk I've seen here yet. No, you just said calm. You seemed very calm and in control as well. You didn't say it. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> you said <it>. <laughs> <laughs> On the way to lunch, we were, um, oh, thank God. Um, we're picking up our Star Wars tickets. Because I don't want to have to do this at midnight. One more. Hello. Oh, these babies are like, oh, these are so valuable to me emotionally. Tom's never had popcorn. Like, not ever. Like, not, not even, just not, not in the cinema, but ever, ever. I was, just, I was asking if you were sweet or salted. Nothing is the answer. He's not seen Star Wars. He's never had popcorn. This is going to be an educational day. You are having some popcorn. You're going to go sweet, like regular people. Oh, yes. Right, so, now, the way that this works is, um, everybody here has a poster, like me, and, um, basically, you kind of mingle, and you stand by your poster, and people come up to you and ask you questions about your work, and, uh, it's a very good opportunity to network, and to, uh, probe your understanding of what you've done, but also, you then get to go mingle, and talk to other people, and you get to learn about, um, other interesting bits of research. Sometimes it's relevant research to what you do, but a lot of the time it isn't. In a move that has just proved my never-ending stupidity, I uh, was just talking to a lady about my poster, a nice lady called Susan Solomon. I um, didn't recognise who she was, or the name, until after she left. I asked her if she worked in the um, stratosphere, you know, in stratospheric research. She sort of smiled and said, oh, I've, I've dabbled. Um, turns out that she explained the hole in the ozone layer. She's a massive name. She knows my supervisors. I'm not going to live this down. So, um, halfway through the poster session, we, I just had a lovely chat with some people from Oxford, um, and it was really nice to have a, like, an engaging chat. Well, it's, it's a weird mix about these things, like, I suppose after a while it's half professional, half like, yeah. personal. And I'm in the queue to get beer, because it's free. Someone said hello! People were buying my poster, David's come to harangue me. You're the hero of the hour, really, today, though. Am I? Well, you mean you did a talk. I'm just sitting here talking in front of a poster. Well, you know, David actually got up and spoke in front of. Actually, how many people do you reckon it was? Probably about 50, 60? Uh, let's go. 50. Say 50. I thought you did a really good job. Everyone said you did a really good job. Uh, I'm proud of you. Oh, yeah. There's a really short line, by the way. They're just over there. <laughs> bye, 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 David. <laughs> Thank you. 
that's the poster session done for us. The posters are staying up. We're off to another session um, to go to talks on. Yep. Uh, what, what was the name of this session again? Extra tropical and high latitude storms, teleconnections, extreme weather, and the changing polar climate. There we go. So we're, we're leaving our posters to their, their own devices. We're off. It's not typical that you'd stay by our poster for the whole time, anyway. That was, I really enjoyed that. Yeah, it's good. It's, good. it's like, you know, you, it's something that you. You spend so much time on the project. Yeah. It's nice to have somebody to talk to about it who actually is relatively yeah. technically capable. Yeah, and interested. Yeah. People who are interested, it's great. Um, so yeah, I, I was I was kind of dreading it in a way, but also I was looking forward to it for the and I was I was right to look forward to it. It was yeah. a lot of fun. Yeah. You know. Thanks, AGU. Or light on this in, in terms of um, spatial positioning and spatial distribution on the hemisphere. Um, of the circumpolar vortex. Oh. Now that was a session worth going to. There was um, uh, at least one talk that was directly relevant to our research. And there's a guy here right now needs an email and rate him for using the wrong battery condition when he's inverting his PV field. Um, that was really, really good. I'm actually leaving one talk early uh, to pick up the poster now. <laughs> Strange old world. I'm now going to a meetup for people who tweet, which of course is known as a tweet up. Goodbye, old friend, you served me well. So we're in a few beers down here, the 20 bucks, aren't we? We're meeting up with some other vloggers going around. Do you want to, do you want to say you on your Twitter handle? Uh, Frank Castro, uh, Geo Astro Castro on Twitter. I'm the rather boring James Pope 10, because my name is James Pope. <laughs> And, and my name's Angus Ferraro. My Twitter name is Angus Ferraro. <laughs> you're, you're, you're the number one. I'm the, you're the number one Angus Ferraro. I'm the only Angus Ferraro. And we're all. It turns out American craft beer is quite strong. One of them was nine and a half percent. Um, and we we started a frame to get through the sandwiches whilst being here. This is your fault. Double decker. It's pretty good here. I, I, I could see myself living in the area. Yeah. There's actually a brewery in this place. I found it when I went to the bathroom. But yeah, well, um, well, I think in a sense of science, we could multiply science, you know, multiply sound uh, the breweries in the area. Exactly. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, possibly you'll see me in another brewery in now. Okay, so I decided I'm not going to go to another brewery because we had a few drinks. We had about three or four drinks, but for me, three or four drinks isn't normally a problem. Those were very strong drinks, like seven to nine percent style drinks. Um, and if I went to another brewery and had more drinks, it would be a bad idea. So, know your limits, kids. Make sure you stop before you make a fool of yourself. I'm going to go home to the hotel, sober up, hopefully write a blog post, and then. We're going to um, feature other people on the vlog, and then we're going to wake up tomorrow and not have regrets about things that we have done or said, other than things that we might have done or said to our girlfriend. Uh, I'm sorry if you're watching this, those messages were totally legit. I've got to say, it feels kind of weirdly right, like I don't feel awkward about vlogging in the street here. Normally when I, well for example in Vienna I felt kind of awkward just walking out with the camera and talking to it. But this is the home of YouTube man, San Francisco is where people are inherently self-obsessed to the point where they vlog about themselves like me i really like it here it feels very new age in the sense of it's embracing new technology but at the same time it does have the negative connotation of new age in that it embraces new technology perhaps a little bit too soon and as we were talking to other people here uh, everybody here is a ceo everybody here is a founder everybody here is all about trying to embody new technology and the new ideas without necessarily stopping to think about what those ideas mean. I like to think that my channel isn't quite so vacuous as to have that problem, but, well, not easy to tell when you're on the inside, is it? In a somewhat worrying turn of events, behind me, you probably can't see it, but like there, there's a queue for people who are going to see all the Star Wars films in a row, in a marathon, at 1 a.m., and then they're going to see episode 7. Which is good, I mean, respect, but I can wait until midnight tomorrow. It's like 26 hours and then I get to see a new Star Wars film. That idea is very exciting. Now that layer between 10 kilometers and 50 kilometers in altitude is what we call the stratosphere. And it accounts for almost the entirety of the remaining mass of the atmosphere. 
So yeah, let's see if I can remember this all. Um, if you want more Battlefront videos with John and I just talking about stuff, then please comment below. Um, make sure you go and look at that singing playlist of, of choral music about Christmas. Comment below with which one piece is your favourite. You know, just have a listen to a few on shuffle. 